number one Iron Age booty daddy. I I could not have just found indie creators back in the in the late nineties, early two thousands. It's damn near I mean, impossible. And no, it was. It was unless you were at some like unless I'm local. not saying it's impossible, but it was local bookstores. It was like and nobody well, knew about that. The so. market is changing and I think it's already changed um more than I think a lot of people have uh like giving it credit for essentially so you know that that's kind of something that's um you know i i think is probably going to be evident with this uh magazine and with a lot of other stuff is that i think as the indie sphere starts to try and kind of like build bonds across the various subgroups if people mm -hmm. are willing to do that you know uh I think that people are going to realize that there's a bunch of different interesting little um, things out there that they want and they don't know about yet. Mm -hmm. And I think that we are currently still in a model of, uh, or at least we have been in a model of, for example, um, like Ethan Van Skyver and mm -hmm. Eric July, where it's yep. like you have a big following, you produce product that you're following once you sell product to your following yeah, you know what I mean? gaggles and gaggles of, of, of books to the yeah, following that and, you've already yeah yeah, yeah and, and marketing mm -hmm. exactly and i mean i think that's definitely going to work but what i think is already here now is that there is a sort of uh growing sector of the market that like they might they they probably like Eric July, you know what I mean? And they like Ethan Van Skyver well enough, right. sure, but they're not, like, if they buy their their products, it's not necessarily because they really like them all that much. You know what I mean? They're not buying it to support yeah. that person. They're just buying it because they want something outside the mainstream, they want something interesting. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, as that market well, grows, there's going to be a lot more people, in my opinion, who... It it, if I can offer the inverse to you really quickly, I think a yeah. lot of people who are buying from Eric July and Ethan Van Skyver, um, I bought, I mean, Isom, it's, it's, uh, you know, I mean, you know, and I've got my signed copy over here. I bought it because I was, I, 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 I believe in what Eric July is trying to do. Sure. But, but that to a point will only go so far. And then people will start saying, okay, well, Eric releases three books a year. So let's say three months out of the year at various times, right? Say winter, summer, and then next winter, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get at the beginning of winter, at the end of winter, and right in the middle of summer, I'll get a book from Eric July. What am I going to fill that space with in between? Mm -hmm. And I think that there are people out there that are going to look for that. Is that somewhat of what you're touching on? Or did I just... Sure. I mean, I, I think that's part of it, but I, I also think that there's a lot of people who are just not engaging. Like, I, the the thing that I've noticed with uh, Comicsgate, for example, is that um, most people involved in Comicsgate still very much like the original, the older superheroes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're still engaged with the fandoms over there. I think that there is a growing um, market of, how do I want to put it? Almost like more normie consumers who are not big fans yeah. in a very particular area. They're just generally dissatisfied with the mainstream. They These are people who oh, okay. Okay. No, normally would, who if you go back 10 years, 10, 20 years ago, they wouldn't be going to conventions. You know what I mean? They would just no. be watching whatever's on TV. The they, convention I mean. scene is something that's really new in the last like 10 years as far as its popularity goes. Sure. Yeah. And popularity. is becoming more popular. Obviously, yeah. the convention scene goes back as far as, you know, as conventions. However have, long. But yeah. my, my point is, is that there's more, I would say, casual consumers mm -hmm. entering into the indie market. And, Agreed. And Agreed. I think that um, really what I'm looking at is kind of those casual consumers and saying there's a lot of really interesting stuff out here that you might not encounter unless you were doing a deep dive on mm -hmm. 
one thing or another. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Here's a bunch oh, of absolutely. Richard, you know, here's a bunch of different stuff for you majority. to explore. No, and it, but but that's what that one. That's what he needs to do. And two, he's not for 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 lack of trying to pump you up too much. You're not trying to tap into one well. Mm -hmm. You're trying oh, yeah, to no. reach into a bunch of different wells and go, hey, here. Which one? Fantastic Mizda strategy, by the way. <laughs> but two, doing what you're trying to do is saying, hey. There's all these other artists out there because because the the one and I and I okay Richard so tell me and and you may you may have come to this conclusion in a different way that I have come to this conclusion but let's see if it's somewhat the same so there are people out there saying I want something different I want something different than Marvel I want something different than DC I want something different than what's just out there right mm -hmm. now. And my answer to that something different was, well, I can't, I, I, I legitimately can't just pick one thing because there's so many different things out there. And so my idea was to platform all of the different things. Is that what, is that what you're going for here? Because well, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, I, I guess it's more sort of, it's sort of like that. I would love to do that. Right. But I just don't have the um, what would you call it? The bandwidth right now. Well, yeah. So right now it's kind of like I'm going to who, whoever comes to Anvil. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. there, there's multiple pieces of this puzzle or that I've been thinking about. Right. Right. And one of them is I want it to be a sampler platter of what's in the indie space occurring right now. You know what right. I mean? It has to be. And that's part of the reason why I haven't really had. I don't know. I, I have not gone backwards very far with Iron Age Media is that I'm very much like what is happening right now? Because if you start going back, then you need mm -hmm. to go farther back and everything else. But, you know, what's what is hot off the presses? What's new and fresh in the indie sphere? And uh, what's the best of that that I can give to you this issue? OK, so that's the first part. And then the other part of this is. I also want to start um, increasing the viability of people, um, the viability of being an artist or an author in the space, okay? Because it's all well and good for, um, like, there's there's already a ton of really good magazines in this space. You know what I mean? As far as, like, pulp magazines. Mind you, they're all um, literature-focused. Or they're, like I said, there's some comic skate magazines right. there's right. not many that have I, I don't know of any that have straddled the line like this right yeah um but the 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 thing that i am trying to do is say all right well we are going to uh pay for everything that goes in and it may not you know it's it's not going to be like you know buy buy a new car money or whatever <laughs> yeah. right but <laughs> right. but you know, maybe it's not even a uh, the way inflation's going. Maybe it's not even more than you know two dozen eggs. But, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's it's at least something, and it's going to be consistent. Consistency is my big key. So it's mm -hmm. I, I want it to be something where uh, we're changing the tone of indies. Yeah. At least within uh, the market, which is like if you're good. If you send something in, we will pay you for it. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. if it's, you know, if it's um, also, you know, sometimes things don't always fit exactly in. And that's another big learning thing that I had to do was like, I kind of just put out an all call for, you know, hey, send me your stuff. And like, <laughs> people were like, so what kind of stuff do you want? And I was like, man, I just, you know, well, let me think about that. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, I, I could have done better. And then we um, got a ton of submissions. Oh my god! Yeah, we we really did. And I, so I, it was it was thank great. Thank you all though. so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal, just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.